Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. If you have a sore throat or acute tonsillitis from a bacterial infection, and if in case it was not treated properly, you might be at risk of developing a serious complication called tonsillar abscess, which is a collection of pus around the tonsil. Most of the time, sore throat is caused by a virus and not by a bacteria. In this situation, there is no need to take antibiotics, as antibiotics don't kill viruses. But in case the infection is caused by a bacteria, especially the kind that we call strep throat or streptococcus, then you need to take antibiotics. In some situations, if this bacteria was not treated properly, then this infection might progress to an abscess around one or both tonsils. Normally, patients with tonsillar abscess complaining of worsening fever and a sore throat. They appear very ill, and they are not able to swallow anything, even their saliva, because it is very painful. During the exam, they are drooling and have difficulty opening their mouth due to the presence of a spasm in the jaws muscle. The infected tonsil is very red and swollen, almost blocking the throat. Also, the lymph nodes in the neck are enlarged and tender. What is the treatment? It is very important to prevent this serious condition by treating the bacterial strep throat infection with antibiotics. But in case this abscess gets developed, treatment should be urgent, either by inserting a needle in that abscess or doing a minor surgery. Both procedures are to remove the pus from the abscess. A sample from the pus should be sent for culture to find out what type of the bacteria. Then patients are given a strong antibiotic, either in the vein or by mouth. Also, we should give painkillers and IV fluid for hydration, and sometimes cortisone injection to reduce the severe swelling. Inadequately treating this condition can result in a life-threatening complications. The most important one is the airway obstruction due to severe swelling in the tonsils. The other one is leaking pus into the lungs, causing pneumonia if the abscess get ruptured. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.